इंग्लिश हिंदी एसबीस ये तीन में से कौन सा लैंग्वेज प्रेफर कर दो आपको हिंदी आसमीस आसमीस हिंदी हिंदी इंग्लिश ओके ठीक है हम लोग मिक्स करेंगे होम या टू कॉम हिंदी में भी बोलेंगे विल स्पीक इन इंग्लिश आल्सो ओके ठीक है सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव गिवन यू अ प्री असेसमेंट फॉर्म we want to see what is your knowledge level right now okay once you fill up this form write your name at the bottom and then give it back to us then we will enter into the introduction part okay and in introduction you have to tell only what is your name whether you are a field head or a community organizer and what is your division only these three things we don't need anything else okay moi kimanto kolita moi field head hoy more division no gao bas iman kini kole hoy aru kono lage quickly pre assessment form jo diya hua hai isme kuch abbreviations hai some of these abbreviation shayad aap log pehle bhi sune ho ya dekhe ho ya is abbreviations se familiar ho आप लिखो नहीं भी मालूम है तो बिल्कुल घबराना नहीं है हमें कुछ नहीं मालूम है इसीलिए हम लोग ट्रेनिंग में आए हैं ठीक है तो वो हम लोग जो भी नहीं मालूम है वो अगर हमें मालूम होगा तो फिर अकॉर्डिंगली हम लोग सिखाएंगे ओके और एवरीवेशन के अलावा कुछ क्वेश्चन है जिसमें आप लोगों को थोड़ा थोड़ा लिखना है बहुत लंबा नहीं लिखना है और जो लास्ट क्वेश्चन है लास्ट क्वेश्चन में क्या करना है मैं बोर्ड में करके बताता हूँ ठीक है सपोज द टॉपिक इज फ्लड फ्लड में क्या होता है रेन होगा रेन भी पानी कहीं पे ड्रॉप होगा कहीं पे ड्रेनेज में प्रॉब्लम होगा ओके फ्लड होगा तो किसी भी रेन होगी प्रॉपर्टी डैमेज होगा सो प्लाट के बारे में जितना कुछ हमें मालूम है हम सब यहाँ पे एक एक करके लिखेंगे सिमिलरली अभी जो आपको लिखने के लिए बोला गया है वो टॉपिक क्या है क्या टॉपिक है लास्ट टॉप लास्ट क्वेश्चन माइक्रो प्लान माइक्रो प्लान अगर आप सुने हो और माइक्रो प्लान के बारे में आपको कुछ भी मालूम है जो भी मालूम है वो आप सेंटर में माइक्रो प्लान लिख लो और उसके चारों तरफ आपको जो भी याद है या जो भी आपको मालूम है आप लिख लो ठीक है सेम एक्सरसाइज हम लोग लास्ट में फिर से करेंगे और तब आपको मालूम होगा कि आज जितने वर्ड आप लिख रहे हो कल उससे बहुत ज्यादा वर्ड आपको मालूम होगा हम लोग को फिर ये हम मेजर कर पाएंगे कि आपका नॉलेज कितना बढ़ा है ठीक है ओके फिनिश इट क्विकली कितना टाइम लगेगा तीन मिनट फाइव मिनट ओके लेट्स फिनिश इट इन फाइव मिनट प्रोजेक्ट याम सी विल एक्सप्लेन अस आफ्टर दिस व्हाट इज दिस प्रोजेक्ट ऑल अबाउट हु इज इंप्लीमेंटिंग इट हु इज फंडिंग इट व्हाट विल बी आवर रोल सो ऑल दोस थिंग्स आई एम लीविंग अप लाइक फॉर द नेक्स्ट सेशन आई एम नॉट एक्सप्लेनिंग इट सो that is something that we will be learning in this training program that is number one objective because we as a team member of the project we must know what is the goal of the project what are the objectives what are the deliverables how are we going to deliver right that is number one number two is then we try to understand certain things first is knowing about the goals and all but only knowing about it will not help us if we don't understand certain basic things number one thing that we need to understand is what is the role of pisa in a pvc project when we say pisa it stands for project implementation support agency right so this project has got several verticals plantation is one vertical community engagement is another vertical capacity building of forest is another vertical so 
we will be handling only one vertical, the community engagement part. And what will be our role? So that we have to understand first. Before we deliver, we need to understand what is our role, right? The second thing we need to understand is the scope and purpose of micro plan. When we are seeing that we will be preparing micro plans for all the agencies, right? Or wherever the JFMCs are on, like already having their micro plan, we will revisit and we will try to strengthen their micro plan. Now, in order to strengthen or in order to be able to tell whether that micro plan is good or bad, we need to first understand what is micro plan actually. Why do we do it? How does it help? Okay, micro plan to key for Kyo 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 micro plan. Are we doing it? Can we help? Hey, for that too. I mean, would you like to go understand the proper development of the in these two days time? The third thing that we need to understand is the role of community organizers. Or we can say the role of community organizer, field heads, and being together. What we are going to deliver at the field level. What we can do in the field and what we cannot do in the field. I mean, soft term, bizarre, it's out there. For you are a human guidelines is a government of the world. You are a guidelines is a civil. I mean, follow for you. You are a standard rules and rules as a kick. I mean, a good enough record. We will try to enhance your skill. We will train you. We will train you in two aspects. One is on IPC, interpersonal communication. When I go and meet the BFO, he is my stakeholder, right? So the DFO and me, we are talking. So it's an interpersonal communication, right? It's not intrapersonal, it's not within me. It's me and him. I am going and I am talking to the team of forest officials. First interaction was between me and the DFO, one-to-one -one interaction. Second type could be me and then many people, one-to-many communication, or it could be in a group situation where me, my field head, my community organizer, we are also in a team and the community is also in a team so it's both sided communication like in a group discussion type. So those are all interpersonal communication. So we need to have the skill in what kind of situation, how do we present ourselves, how do we begin the discussion, what goal do we keep in our mind, how do we achieve to reach to that goal. Okay? So that is something which we will try to train you. So that when you go to field you have the required skill to do it. Okay? The second aspect where we need to strengthen your skill is on participatory approaches, different participatory approaches, which will include PRA of course, but other than PRA also there may be many other participatory things we, we may have to do. So how to do something with the community in a participatory manner, how to gel with them and become a member of them. If I work in an area, the community has to accept me first, right? If they don't accept me, they will not listen to me. So, how do we create acceptance? How do we work with them? Whether we follow top-down approach or bottom-up approach or, or what is it that we work in the community that we will try to change. So that skill will be very, very helpful. Six broad objectives of organizing this training program. And that is what I would like to see at the end of tomorrow that you are all equipped with all the required skills. You have got the required understanding of all the aspects and you go back in Okay, with that, I would like to say all the best to all of you.